Let me emphasize, Amy, our piece is not uh, saying that cell phones are safe or are not safe. Our piece is an investigative expose showing you how the cellular industry has worked for 25 years behind the scenes to convince you that cell phones are safe. When in fact, if you look at the independently funded science, the picture is a lot more mixed than that. And as you mentioned, there's that smoking gun memo letter, I should say, from uh, George Carlo in 1999 telling the CEOs of all these big companies, look, this stuff is raising serious questions, especially about kids and cancer and genetic damage. And I think that's the real parallel with both big oil and big tobacco. In each case, these big companies were told privately by their own scientists that there's serious questions about your product, whether it be cigarettes or fossil fuels or cell phones. And in each case, those executives decided not to share that with the public, but rather to keep that information to themselves while telling the public and telling the press and telling policymakers there's no problem. Uh, there is a lot of evidence suggesting that we need to be a lot more careful about these cell phones. The World Health Organization has listed them as a possible carcinogen. And just last week, here in the United States, the National uh, Institutes of Health had a major study peer-reviewed about cell phone radiation. And the peer-review scientists, who are independent of government, said that there was, quote, clear evidence, unquote, that cell phones can cause cancer. And that is something that you have not read in the American media. And I have to say that that's another part of this story, Amy, is how the U.S. news organizations and journalists have been hoodwinked yet again by a corporate propaganda campaign uh, where we listen more to what the industry says than to what independent scientists are saying.